Are you pleased with the performance of individuals or the team as a whole? Um, overall, we did we did well under the circumstances. Um, I mean, we went into the meet tired. We weren't really focused on peaking at all by any means. Uh, but it's always our goal to swim as fast as we can, tired kind of during the season. Uh, but you can do things that will help the body kind of be prepared to go faster. And that is warming up properly and warming up really well right before you swim. Uh, we did run into a, a little bit of a snafu when uh, the diving events did not get started for a half hour. And it did not find out about the delay until we were well into our warm up. And it wasn't about to stop them midway through the warm up and then go, okay, let's start over again. Um, so I just kind of let them go. And we did have a, a pretty big lull before the actual competition started because of the delay. And you know, they got to learn how to swim fast under, under not so ideal situations. So uh, they did very well uh, for that. Uh, I will let you know, just going into the meet uh, against St. Louis University, against Lindenwood University, um, as well as Missouri S&T on the men's side, we, we didn't really have a shot at winning any of those meets. So we were really looking at kind of swimming as well as we possibly could on that given day. Um, I did pose a challenge for the team to break 12 school records. And if they broke 12 school records, we were going to uh, sleep in a half hour on Monday morning. And a half hour is, is wonderful when it comes to starting at either 5.30 or 6 a.m. And uh, they met the challenge exactly at 12. We, uh, I had to count two. I, somebody raised a qu uh, their hand and asked a question, what happens if two people go under one record? And I said, well, then I'll count both. Okay. And uh, that, is, that actually did happen on the medley relay. Uh, both Daniel Day went the fastest 100 butterfly split in school history, and Austin Andrews eclipsed the, the best swim from last year as well. So uh, to have a freshman and a sophomore both go under the, the old fastest 100 butterfly split in school history, we were pretty happy about that. Uh, but we got off to a good start uh, with the guys. Medley, well, Rachel Kagey did go the fastest 100 butterfly relay split in the 400 medley relay. Uh, Rachel is a freshman on our team from Brentwood, Tennessee, which is just outside of Nashville. And uh, she wasn't done there. She also broke our school record in the 200 butterfly with a second place finish. Uh, she had a very good swim, very, very strong last 50, and that's what we're really looking for at this time of the year. Um, and she bettered uh, Maggie Metz's school record from last year. So I was very happy with that performance. Um, Ida uh, Newman broke two school records on Saturday. Uh, she bettered the, her best time already in the 200 IM, so every, anytime she goes the best time now, she's breaking a school record. Uh, and then she also broke Maggie Metz's school record in the 200 backstroke by nine one hundredths of a second. So she, she was very close, and like I said, they got 12, and nine one hundredths could have separated uh, starting practice at 530, but uh, she got the job done there. Um, on the guy's side, we, we bettered uh, quite a few of them, and it all started with the medley relay. Uh, we went three seconds faster than our school record in the 400 medley relay in the very first event of the day. Um, and that had a lot to do with the fact that freshman Uriah Reiners went uh, the fastest breaststroke split in school history by over a, almost a full second. And then uh, Daniel Day went almost two seconds faster than the uh, best 100 fly split. So with those, the, our middle right there, we were, we were bound to break that record. So. It's just a matter of how low can we go at the end of the year with, with the, the same cast of characters, but we might, we might make some changes. We might, we're just going to have to figure out which backstroker's on the most. Uh, we have three guys that are, are very close together in that, in that race. Um, and then kind of moving on, Uriah Reiners, uh, he had a phenomenal meet. Uh, I'd say, I don't want to say he had the best meet out of all our guys, but he just had a great meet overall. Um, he... Negative split is 200 free, uh, plays fifth, dropped eight tenths of a second from uh, his best unrested time, which was at the Show Me Showdown. Uh, and then he went on to shatter our school record in the 200 breaststroke. Um, and when I mean shatter, he broke it by five seconds, five, five and a half seconds. Uh, and he actually won a personal best by over two seconds in the 200 yard breaststroke, which to go a best time on October 27th when we did Insanity that morning, um, Tells me sometimes that we might not be working Uriah hard enough, but when I said that on Saturday, he looked at me like, no, no. <laughs> uh, so there's no telling what he's going to do later on in the season. I'm really excited about that. Uh, other records that were broken on Saturday on the men's side, 
Uh, Daniel Day broke the school record in the 200 butterfly by a little bit. And uh, our current school, or our former school record holder, Ben Plank, uh, he just missed his best time, which was the school record as well. And so for, for Ben to be there right now uh, and be where he is, I'm thrilled because uh, for him to end the year going 201, he already is 202 and the, the first time swimming the 200-yard butterfly all year. And that was after, swimmers are going to know what I'm talking about here, but after doing two 3,000-meter-plus stroke sets uh, that week, uh, I didn't know he was going to be capable of putting that time on the board uh, on Saturday, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and then Joshua Sawyers, um, he stepped up big time, and he led off our 400 free relay with a school record and lifetime best in the 100 freestyle by, with a time of 48.12. Uh, and so for Josh going 48.1 on October 27th, we're going to expect much bigger and better things from him as the season comes. Uh, I think 46 is definite possibility, if not if not uh, breaking 46 and going 45 seconds in the 100 freestyle, which would be a, an amazing accomplishment for a second-year program to have a sprint freestyler going that fast. So over, overall, we had a, a very solid meet. Uh, no competition-wise, we were going up against uh, some pretty stiff competition, but we did very well. I did fail to mention that uh, Maggie Metz actually did provide us with our our one event win on the day, uh, she did win the 1,000 freestyle. Uh, she won her best in-season time in the 1,000 freestyle by five seconds. She went 10.50, um, and it was a negative split. It was the first time she negative split that race. But for those of you that do not know, negative splitting means swimming the second half of the race faster than the first, and that's really what we're looking at in the 1,000 and the mile. So she was actually 5.26 and some change and came home in 5.23. So. Uh, we were really happy with that. She actually flipped probably in fifth or sixth place at the 100, so she kind of built into that race and, and paced it very well, and I was very happy with her performance. So we're off for a couple weeks. We're just going to kind of hammer it down and get, get to some harder training. We started with uh, weights this morning for the first time this year, and uh, now that we've gotten fit through Insanity, we're going to get stronger and more powerful by getting in the weight room, and I'm really excited about the improvements that are going to come. Our next competition will actually be here in the, in the Maybe Center on uh, Friday, November 16th at 6 o'clock against Lewis, and we're going to swim them again on Saturday at 11 o'clock in, in the morning. So I um, haven't really finalized things, but I uh, spoke with the Lewis coach, and we're hoping to contest every single event that is contested in the D2 format. So uh, it, should be, it should be a lot of fun.